Hey guys, welcome back to the nightmare of which is decaying because my brain is rotting slowly. All right, let's continue. Last episode, I killed a gigantic ass spider. I also killed a little bunny, but don't get mad because it was trying to kill me. All right, self-defense, self-defense. I can't get in trouble if I claim self-defense, right? Winky face. That's all I'm saying. Is there other ways? There is other ways. There's this way. And this way. Ooh, let me bring out my crowbar. A swing and a miss. Oh my god. Boom, get fucking killed, dude. Get whacked. All right, so this, because this says good against bones, and so skeletons will be smacked the fuck up. Zombies will be shot the fuck up. Because I don't like using melee weapons, because you get, you try meleeing them, they grab your fucking ass and start fucking doing things you don't want them to do, and then you gotta go. You gotta go mess with that fucking whole legal situation and then the cops aren't gonna believe you because it's a zombie and they're gonna laugh at you, they'll call you a crazy person, and then you're gonna go home and cry because you're not crazy, they just don't understand that zombies exist. And you'll show them, and then you go back to the place where the zombies are, you lead one of them to the police station, the police officers get bitten by the zombies, and thus you started the outbreak, and now everybody around you is getting turned into zombies, and... You're the last person alive, but it's all right because now you get to go into Taco Bell and get free Taco Bell whenever you want. So all in all, it's a pretty good deal. Sit the fuck down. To the Taco Bell. Do you guys like Taco Bell? I love Taco Bell, dude. I am a whore for Taco Bell, dude. I will shake. I'll shake my own ass for Taco Bell, dude. Don't touch me. But yeah, I love fucking Taco Bell, dude. Love, 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 love Taco Bell. If I could have one meal for the rest of my life, Taco Bell. Man, these people are getting kind of sturdy with it. I love everything from Taco Bell. I don't care if it is horse meat, whatever. I, I, I don't care if they do I, I don't care if they go into the bathroom and just fucking scoop up scoop up the sludge from the toilets and put it in a taco bell what the fuck are you don't fucking touch me don't fucking touch me are you a regenerator boom You are! Are you dead? Alright, that answers that question. That answers that. Are there more of you down here there? Because that wasn't kind of cool. Not a shotgun ammo. I went from swimming in ammo to now being really deprived of ammo. Um, I don't have dynamite. Even running low in pistol ammo. I missed. That's gonna cost me. Whoa, how many lunch forward with it? I only have 12 bullets left. You know what? I'll save it. Watch this. Up, up. Boom. Sit your ass down. I'm Gordon Freeman. Right. Pistol ammo. Mass murder at Haunted Manor. 
Irma Herdshaw, wife to prominent businessman William Herdshaw, and their many live-in servants have been found murdered at a manor known at, to locals as being haunted. The bodies of the servants were brutally mutilated, and Irma Herdshaw was found decapitated in her bed. William Herdshaw, the main suspect of a heinous crime, has gone missing and is believed to be on the run. That sucks. For them. Is this where I came from? I don't remember stairs. Pistol ammo. Reloading. I wish these melee weapons actually, you know, hurt. But too bad that uh, this crow, like, come on. If I'm swinging that crowbar so hard that I'm grunting, I expect this dude's head to be like destroyed. I expect blood and carnage. There's gonna be carnage. What was I talking about in the last episode? I don't remember. I think I was talking about. No, this is that this episode was Taco Bell. Let me know down below you guys' favorite menu item from Taco Bell of all time. You know, but let's let's throw a couple questions out there. Uh, favorite one of all time, right? Bell Burger, you know, Quesarito, Volcano. Menu. Like it, it, it could be, it could be uh, discontinued or still here. Like of all time, right? All time. And then something your go-to, right? And for me, my go-to was always the quesarito. That's also my favorite item of all time. I love the quesarito. But then they took it away. Made it online only, like through the app. And that was kind of upsetting, but I used the app a lot, so it didn't really bother me. Uh, then they took it off the app. So it's just gone, which makes negative sense because that was a very popular item to my knowledge. But hey whatever right they, they just bring it back and like for a limited time only the quesarito and then you know take it away and, but they're, they're gonna bring it back it's not gonna be as good they're gonna take it away and bring it back take it away bring it back and each time it's gonna get worse and worse and worse just like the nacho fries and then i'm still gonna get them each time they come back everyone must die i think i'll start with the servants and install the wardrobe over the hole they know too much and may warn the others my new friends in the dungeon offer to help me with the killings. Of course, I gladly accepted. So this dude is over the deep end. Also, everybody say it with me. Save point and ammo. One, two, three. Boss fight. Very good. Very good. Very good. I've done this song and dance before. I'm walking with the magnum though. Blow this motherfucker's head off. Ooh, yeah, op open room as well. Might write that down, right? On the bingo card of is this a boss fight? Mysterious object in it. Here he comes. Are you the owner, Lord of the Nightmare? What the fuck? Oh, it's following me. Give me a fucking second. Are you the final boss? Whoa, 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 whoa. This motherfucker's on X Games mode or something. Um, I don't know what to do. Give me the crowbar. What the fuck? Got that motherfucker. Watch this. We'll run up to him. Did not stagger him like I thought it was going to. Dummy. Alright, give me some... Whoa, whoa. I'm just gonna take your shots. You know what? I used the holy water. Boom! Would that have instantly have killed him? <laughs> right. 
We may never. I should have just taught that to Pingu, to be honest. Here, I'm gonna do something. I woke up. Holy shit. What a terrible nightmare. You are covered in sweat and heart is thundering in your chest as you get up from your bed. It's still the middle of the night and with some time before the sun rises. No, oh, and it will be sometime before the sun rises, but you don't feel like going back to sleep. Not after that horrific nightmare. Maybe a short walk outside so fresh air will help calm you down. Bro, what time is it? 3.25 a.m.? Brother, what the fuck is sunrise where you live? I'm actually not going to save. I'm going to save in the second slot. Why would, like, uh, look, it's nighttime still. I'm not... No, I'm not going outside at night. I think I get fucking kidnapped or mugged or killed. No, thank you. Especially after having a nightmare, brother. I'm not going across the hall to use the restroom after waking up from a nightmare, let alone walking the fuck outside. Let me break it in her. Let me in. Please, it's a strange cat at the end of the hallway. Hey, kitty. Are you going to start talking to me? Ooh. Red means stop, green means go. Hey, buddy. Yep. Hello again, stranger. Did you really think that you could escape from the nightmare? It's like I said in the beginning, no one ever escapes alive. Don't. You have awakened from a nightmare. But the real nightmare has just begun. Wow. Took me two hours and nine minutes. Extra game ones have been unlocked and can I have access to the extras menu? Wow, so that fucking cat, dude. That fucking cat. Dungeon escape? Escape from a procedurally generated dungeon horde mode. Disable. Disable appearance of cultists. Alright, okay, let's do something real quick. Hold up. Let's load up this. Uh, let's load up this. I just want to see if this would have instantly have killed him. Alright, because you got to kill that bunny and then get this item. So I want to know if this would have instantly got his ass. So let's just find out. <laughs> All right, it did not. Whatever. All right, so. All right, cool. Extras. Extra, extra, extra. Let's try this dungeon escape. Try these modes real quick. Where am I? Instructions. Well, dungeon escape, you are trapped in an underground dungeon and must try to escape by reaching the surface. Ascend by leaving through the exit door on each floor. Covered supplies can be purchased between floors with credits earned by. Either killing enemies or looted from the dungeon. Clung the floor of all enemies will get an extra reward of 400 credits. Climb the ladder to begin your escape. Get me out of here. Okay, I do have uh, ammunition.
Dude, this would have been more scary if the game was like this. Q to expand. Alright. Because this isn't. This isn't a guapo at all. I can barely fucking see. So those red dot enemies are another doors. Oh, another enemies. Another doors. Exit? I don't want to exit. I want to kill all the enemies. A lot of motherfuckers in this room. I knew it. Where the fuck do you come from? A lot of motherfuckers. Head off clean. All right, so it marks the map, marks the uh, exit on the map, which is cool. Whole lot of motherfuckers. Whole lot of people. Whole lot of motherfuckers. Don't mind if I do. Just uh, getting this map. I don't remember opening this door, so can they open doors? Are they smart enough to open doors? Alrighty. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. with the way that I know is clear. But I knew ain't nobody was coming be coming from. But uh, whatever. Yeah so this is kinda creepy looking so far. The dark, you know. A lot of zombies too. I don't think there was ever this much zombies. Whoa. Blew that dude's head off. <laughs> That dude too. I'm blowing everybody. Press B to blow. Is this all I have? Any credits. However, I am out of ammo. I'm 
believe there's one more door I gotta open. So this is gonna be awkward. Hey, motherfucker, get off me. I was doing a good job at backpedaling, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna do the fucking cha-cha slide on me. Cleared. Epic. I need fucking health. Please, I'm dying. Pistol ammo. Very cool. Very cool. But it's ambient noises. I would assume so. All right, cool. Wow, look at this fucking to an ammo. A rocket launcher. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crowbar. Three hundred for what? Two hundred mystery. a couple of those bad boys. I bought this fucking machine gun. Because I want to try it out. And then... How much is pistol? 15? Mm, I got... Get ammo of that. Or I can get... You know what? Fuck it. Let's... I want to use this SMG. I want to try it out. <laughs> Next floor. Generating map. Brother, I just spawned in. We already got people moaning. Yeah, it's gonna give me some pistol ammo, so. Alright, let's try this bad boy out. Hey. I didn't fucking dude over there. Also, it is dropping you some GM as well, so that's cool. Then reload this, reloading. Get killed. You're dead. This guy's pretty cool. Uh, shame this wasn't in the main game. Maybe it was. Maybe it was super duper hidden. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm liking this so far. SMG. Y'all out. Give me the credits. I need credits. All right. Let me bring, let me bring out the pistol. Save the little amount of ammo I have. With SMG. For 
I don't even know. Let's go, uh, let's go this way. Seen that dude at the corner of my eye emerge from the darkness is a little was a little spooky. Not not gonna lie. <coughs> Excuse me. Guess it was so scary I started to cough and got choked up. Stab, stab. I'm not in this mood so far. That way is clear. I'm gonna say, let's say that other way for last, cause it sounds like sounds like an evil man is in there. All right. Stupid dog. I reload. I see a dude's arm there. I check out this corner. Nothing. You're a mimic. I know you're a mimic. Well, he's looking at like a fly on the wall or something. Give me my knife. So I can stab these boxes. All right, I'm gonna use SMG on this homeboy. Oh wow, he wasn't a mimic. Surprise, surprise. I was about to unload on the fuck. Ammo? How could I have missed you? How blind am I? All right, I'm gonna bring out the SMG for this weird ass sounding dude. Yep, that's what you get. You fuck around and found out. I got that dog in me. I got that SMG in me. All right, I'm just gonna wait. Yep, nothing there. Didn't miss anything there. All righty. Already used shotguns and shit. What is that? Why are you not? I want to purchase that just because I haven't used it, you know? And so I think it'll be funny. Maximum ammo count of one. Each rocket must be manually loaded. Yep, yep. <laughs> 25. I can't get nothing. Drink that kombucha. Look at this thing. This is good. Okay, here you are. That's funny. All right, pistol, uh, putting in some work. Nothing interesting in that room. Somebody's taking the piss, it sounds like. Nope, wrong weapon. Good thing I didn't fire that, probably would have killed myself. Jesus. All right, this place is getting big. I don't like that. Dynamite? I like that. Hey, I shot you in your shoulder. Turn around and look at me. It's 
something's getting cramped up. Bro, I keep pressing three. I don't want to open that door yet. This is getting big. Yeah. Don't touch me, fish face. Reload this bad boy. Very nice, very nice. Go and search this room. Any kind of hostiles? Negative. Negative Ghost Rider. Fun, 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 fun. Let's see here. Last episode, I don't even I don't even know if I finished my thought process with the FNAF movie, but it was good. Not really scary, at least to me personally. There's a couple of you know classic you know little jump scares, but. But uh, not like I, it wasn't it wasn't scary. But I did have a good time though. If you're a FNAF fan, you will like it because you know that Leonardo DiCaprio meme where he's like pointing at the screen, and so that was cool. Uh, if you're looking for like a scary horror movie, far from, very far from. Uh, what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, I do have. Welcome. Damn. Damn. Homie's backing it up on me. I'm flattered, but I'll have to pass it. <laughs> Got a big dude in the other room, it sounds like. We'll teach this dude what for. I'm sorry, but they got fucking pyramid head. This is goodbye. Holy shit, fucking pyramid heads up in here. I was joking. You know what? This is gonna be a stupid, stupid thing. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna fight him. Oh. Actual fucking pyramid head. <laughs> wow. I was thinking in my head, they got pyramid head. I didn't expect actual pyramid head to come running at me. Well, I guess it's not a pyramid head. I guess bag head, but whatever. All right, let's check out this horde mode real quick. What is it? Select a map. Court. Oh. Oh. Courtyard or Undercroft? We'll do Courtyard. Begin. 500 credits. <sighs> 100 for the holy water. Hard mode instructions. I wanted to do as far as long as possible. After fitting away, we must return to the safe room where you can spend more credits. Credit killing. Killing. Leaving will begin the next wave. All right. What is this? I'm sorry, but this gun's really fun. I like these kind of lights. We're gonna give we're gonna give them that wet for. We're gonna let them know. We're gonna let them know who the real. Oh, is this just blocked off? Is this where they come from, or? We've won. Hello? Here walking. I 
All right. So now we're playing Call of Duty Zombies. I'm gonna let him know. I'm gonna let him know what for, motherfucker. Epic. Too much tachos left. Okay. Playing CSGO. I don't have my knife equipped. That joke didn't work. 70 credits. Don't mind if I do. We do go see it. And if you guys did see it, or by the time you're watching this video, you've seen it, let me know down below what you guys think of it. Did you enjoy it? A little bit up to your expectations, honestly. I liked it for what it is. However, I do wish it was a little bit more, I know it's PG-13, but a little bit more graphic would have been nice. Um, a little bit more scarier would have been nice too. Um, but they do have, you know, supposedly they're making three movies with it. Oh, we got a dog. So, We have the other ones if they are making multiple movies. Um, but yeah, I, I've seen people online, you know, apparently critics are giving it a low score, but once again, you know, if it's not a fucking Marvel movie or XYZ, you know, to critics, then. And the movie sucks. Do not grab me, you fucking pervert. Uh, that was where, like, IGN was like, not enough for the flicking through cameras. I was like, brother, how many really wanted a movie all about just looking at a screen? Or a mouth. These are coming from the same people who couldn't beat Cuphead's tutorial and said it was too hard. So, I'm taking that with a grain of salt. Not even a grain of salt, I'm taking that with a grain of grain. But yeah. It's good. I also think, uh, I've seen some fans or whatever, like, you know, complaining about it being too cheesy and not scary. And a part of me kind of thinks that the FNAF VHS tapes, whoa, oh, was running at me. Uh, the v VH, VHS, there we go. I can speak English. The VHS tapes kind of, kind of like, I don't know, made people think what, what FNAF is. Like I know the lore, like actually like what actually happened in FNAF the lore and stuff, you know, it's pretty dark and gruesome, you know, I know You know after all some dude kidnaps kids murders them and then shows their lifeless corpse inside of animatronic suits That then perform for more children You know and the main dude gets literally like crushed alive inside of a suit in XYZ, so I, I know that, but I think the v, the VHS tapes kind of exaggerate to a certain degree. And so I think people wanted that. But I'm happy with what we got. I'm excited for the sequels, if they ever are actually real. And I'll be seeing them as well. Just like that, dude. I did it. Man, if only this is multiple, I'm playing this with friends. 
This would be pretty fun. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to call it there, though, because it's, it's just horde mode. It's going to be the same old, same old. Uh, this is where I'm going to wrap it up, though. Now, Nightmare of Decay. I give this game a solid, uh, I don't know, 8 out of 10. You know? It's a pretty good Resident Evil clone. I enjoyed it. I like the art style and stuff and everything. Boss fights were cool, I guess. Both one was cool or whatever. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this episode and or the series, I would really appreciate if you left a like, comment, and if you subscribed, as it will help me grow as a YouTuber. Also watch my other episodes in this series, if this is your first one, or my Slender Man series, because that will also help me a lot. But I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.